How you doing, Niner fans? It's your boy, Raj, here with RSF 49ers. And, you know, last weekend, Debo Samuel, unfortunately, missed most of the game pretty much because he came up with pneumonia. It turns out, you know, last weekend, uh, he was having a hard time breathing. And during Sunday night, he had to be taken to the emergency room and to the hospital because he was dealing with fluid in the lungs and pneumonia. And obviously, he came back to practice this week. And it's really great to see that he's trending towards playing this weekend against the Cowboys. But, you know, it was a little scary situation. And just hearing the news and me being a physical therapist, I remember seeing a lot of patients that I've dealt with with pneumonia. And I was like, oh, my God, I was really scared for Debo. And actually, I've had pneumonia, too, myself. It's not easy to deal with. So it's pretty remarkable that Debo Samuel has been able to come back um, and, and practice and get up to speed. Kyle Shanahan this week said, you know, he's really been getting his endurance up and he looks great out there. So it'll be pretty remarkable if Debo Samuel is able to come back and play on Sunday night football against the Dallas Cowboys a week after he had pneumonia. So there was a video today and basically he was in the locker room talking to reporters. And I want to share that with you. This is Debo Samuel basically talking about how it felt to have pneumonia and what he was experiencing. He says he couldn't even breathe much. So I can imagine, you can imagine, it's got to be a scary situation. So I'm going to share this clip with you, and you guys let me know what you think in the comments of this video. You guys have a good rest of your day, and check out what Debo had to say. I mean, honestly, like, you really couldn't, really couldn't breathe, for real. And I, I didn't really know what was wrong until after the game. When did you realize it was more than just you know, <coughs> feeling bad, just a normal sickness? Uh... Kind of when I went out to pregame warm-ups and I like had no energy to like kind of like run or anything uh, for a while, and then I came in and we tried to do a lot. I'd be get a little injury, but um, gladly we found it right after the game, and then uh, everything else as well. You ever got scary? Yeah, it was scary because it's just like it's kind of hard to breathe for real, and like you can't take deep breaths. So um, in the midst of that, I'm just like, what's going on? And then we found out what was that, what was wrong after the game. How do you feel right now? I'm pretty good. How the two days of practice? Been yeah, pretty solid. Do you feel confident on Sunday you'll be able to play or you're questionable? Um, we'll see. You spent two nights in the hospital. <coughs> spent two nights in the hospital, yeah. right? What, what was that like? And this... I mean, um, I have hospital anxiety. Like, I don't like, yeah. I don't like being in the hospital. But um, whatever it took for me to get better, um, you know, I'm all for it. But uh, those two days in there, I mean, it was just cool. I had my brother and my game and stuff, so I was just really in there chilling and getting all the treatment that I needed. Yeah. 